So these images you are seeing on the screen are not real, but AI generated. So if you're tired of getting those shiny polished faces in AI human images with different tools, so yeah, not anymore because the new update of Flux AI, which is Flux 1.1 Pro can create amazingly looking realistic human images that will have you in doubt that whether these are some AI generated images or some real humans. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into this amazing tutorial of Flux 1.1 Pro. So starting off, if you are wondering how you can go ahead and get access to Flux 1.1 Pro, so there are four to five different sources for that. So first of all, you can go ahead and use that in together.ai. Uh, then the next source we have is rubberband.com. Then the third one we have is Fell. You can go ahead and use Flux 1.1 Pro uh, very efficiently on Fell.com as well. Then you can obviously do that on Black Forest Labs and Free Pick AI Image Generator because they also support Flux 1.1 Pro right now, okay? But the most reliable source that I'll also be using in this video is together.ai because once you're gonna go ahead and sign in with your Google accounts, so it's gonna give you like $5 like credit something. So that will be pretty much enough to create like uh, more than like 20 images. And uh, you know, it will be quite enough for us to test out this new update of Flux, which is 1.1 Pro. All right, guys, so here I am in the homepage of together.ai and I'm using, you guys can see Flux 1.1 Pro, the latest version of Flux. And in that, you guys can see we get like very minimalistic parameters, like very intuitive design we have. Uh, we just get like four to five parameters in which we have like width, height, and number of steps. Uh, you can go ahead and also um, customize your seed as well. So these are just basic parameters but in this video we're gonna go ahead and jump into the technique like how you can go ahead and avoid that AI generated images like right so first of all let's just say for the initial start I just go ahead and type in my simple prompt like a woman sitting in the cafe like just this from okay let's just see uh, which images uh, like this flux 1.1 pro is gonna give it to us all right so this is the initial result and let's just say after that I uh, you know, give my keyword like portrait, okay? Because I want that close up, so I'm gonna add close up to that as well. Let's see what result we're gonna get now out of that. All right, so here is the result that we got out of Flux. Yeah, let me just download it and open it up. All right, so you guys can see the image looks really, really good. It's really natural, but the real problem is like in this video specifically, we are trying to get those natural images because this image is clearly looking like some AI generated because this image is too perfect, right? We have like very accurate bouquet effect. We have very polished, very shiny skin of the woman and it clearly looks like, like this is not a real person. This is an AI generated image because it looks like it is uh, some kind of a created image, not some image that real person shoots with his camera or something. So yeah, in this specific video, we are trying to avoid that thing, right? We will try to get that natural images from Flux 1.1 Pro that I showed you in the beginning of the video, okay? And for that, we're gonna use a very unique trick that will blow your mind and you guys would wonder like how we are getting these kind of results right so let's say I go ahead and delete all of this prompt and in here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically be using an image format so what that basically means is let's just say this is my image right and for every image we have a specific format like for this image uh, we have like image name which was img001.jpg right so like for every image let's just say we click with our phone with our camera so we got like this kind of a format right so this exact format we're gonna go ahead and put in our flux 1.1 pro to get those natural images that people create with their cameras because we don't want the ai generated images right so following that i'm gonna go ahead and write some random format i'm gonna type img and by the way, I want to give a huge shout out to AI Search for sharing this amazing trick. So I'm gonna type IMG and I'm gonna type underscore. And after that, we just simply have to provide like uh, three to four digits like following our format, obviously. So after that, I'm gonna type like, let's just say 1016, okay? And after that, we're gonna type dot CR2. So what is CR2? CR2 is basically uh, like some kind of a model of a Canon camera and after that, we just have to provide like a prompt with two to three words max, no more than that. Otherwise, uh, like this format is not gonna work, okay? So I'm gonna write like a woman, that's it. So let's just go ahead and test this out first of all. 
All right, so with that, it basically provided me this result. Wow, this looks absolutely beautiful, you guys, right? So now we have that kind of a, like a realistic grainy image with very real skin detail, very real lighting. We don't get like that strong bokeh effect that we used to see in AI generated images because obviously uh, in AI generated images, the result used to be really, really perfect. We show that to any normal person. He or she would easily identify that this was an AI generated image, but not anymore with the new Flux 1.1 Pro. Because take a look at this, right? We went from this result, which looked clearly like an AI generated image, to this result. Wow. Like this is a massive change, right? So yeah, now let's just go ahead and try to test that out. Uh, like with more examples. So yeah, I basically went ahead and tried to run this format out uh, with different digits, like with different four digits. So I changed that to 4098 and it basically provided me entirely a uh, different image, which is looking like an anime image. And in the next example, you guys can see uh, the digits are 1065 and it basically provided me very AI generated results, you know, very similar to like what we used to get previously, but we are not looking for these kind of images anymore and in the next example we basically uh, got same kind of results which we are least expecting from the new latest flex 1.1 pro obviously after that i basically went ahead and got a very good set of digits again which is 13 11 and with that i basically got these results so you guys can see this is exactly what we're looking for that kind of a grainy image which don't seem like too perfect because obviously we want this to look like as realistic as possible okay all right so now let's just say i go ahead and try to change this out uh, like image the same thing with dog and let's just see what example we're gonna get out of this now so wow take a look at this image you guys right this looks absolutely beautiful like this doesn't look like ai generated image at all i mean like take a look at the detail into that we don't have like that sphere bouquet effect. Like at this point, I am very much doubting like whether these are some real images or like these are some AI generated, right? I'm genuinely confused at the moment because these doesn't look like AI generated images at all. I mean, everything is too good about this image. This looks like, you know, I just clicked this image out with my real camera. So yeah, this is the exact realism that we're talking about that we will be seeing in our future models, okay? All right, so the next format you can go ahead and copy is really, really simple if you don't wanna go ahead and do the previous one that I did because obviously that was a little bit complicated. So you can obviously go ahead and put like, let's just say I type over here my simple word like selfie. And after that, you can type any format with the help of dot okay so dot it can be png it can be jpeg so i'm going to type over here jpg and simply press enter and let's just see what image we're going to get out now all right so take a look at this result you guys right wow this is really amazing right like take a look at the background like the lighting like this guy is looking like really really natural uh, we are avoiding that kind of like polish skin, like that kind of very, very like artificial skin that we used to see previously in Flux models. And now the results are really, really good. And it's looking really natural. Like take a look at in the background. Everything is too good about these images, right? So this is exactly we want to achieve in our AI generated images. We want to achieve as much realism as possible, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and try some of the more variations of selfie.jpg just to show you guys like how amazing and realistic images we can get with the help of Flux 1.1 Pro. All right, so take a look at all of these results, you guys, right? All right, this is the first image, looks very, very natural, very good, yeah, the image turned out really amazing. Then we have this one, okay? All right, I think uh, we are lacking a bit of steps in the image, but other than that, you know, like take a look at the background everything about this image looks really really good we don't see any artificial lighting like artificial skin tone everything is really natural like similarly this one right this seems like uh it is just clicked with some phone camera because we see like that kind of graininess the background is really good and then like take a look at this one wow this is absolutely crazy at this point i think this is some kind of like some humans database we are getting because it doesn't look like AI generated at all. And yeah, this one looks really, really good as well. Similarly, this is a very, very good selfie as well. And yeah, okay. And yeah, the last one, this doesn't look like a mirror selfie because I, I don't know what this guy is doing. But if you talk about the realism in the image, yeah, that is absolutely insane, you guys, right? 
So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of a very amazing Flux update, which is Flux 1.1 Pro, and how, with the help of that, you can go ahead and achieve ultra realism in your images. Now you don't have to go ahead and, you know, just suffer with the artificial lighting, artificial skin tones that we get in AI. So yeah, I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.